Hi everybody. Um, it is reading time with Mrs. Peters. We're calling it Mrs. Peters Reads. This is our second book that we've read for uh, for YouTube and I've got my granddaughters Coley and Stella with me here again today. Um, Coley, do you want to say hi? Hi. Be nice. And Stella, will you say hi please? Hi. <laughs> All right, thanks, Stella. Phew, that was a lot better than the dancing before, wasn't it? <laughs> so today we're going to read, I'm going to read A House for Hermit Crab, and Coley's going to be my, my page flipper. Page flipper. <laughs> Time for a move, said Hermit Crab one day in January. I've grown too big for my little shell. He felt safe and snug in his shell, but now he was too snug. Hermit Crab stepped out of the shell and out onto the floor of the ocean. But it was frightening out in the open sea without a shell to hide in. What if a big fish comes along and attacks me, he thought. I must find a new home. Soon. Oh, you did that really well. <laughs> Early one February, Hermit Crab found just the right one he was looking for. It was a big shell and strong. He had moved right in, wiggling and squirming about on the inside to see how it felt. And it felt just right. But it also looked, well, a little plain, thought Hermit Crab. In March, we've had January, February, and now March. He met some crab anemone. crab anemone. They sway gently back and forth in the water. How beautiful you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to come and live in my house? It is so plain and it needs you. I'll come, whispered a small sea anemone. Gently, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and put it on his shell. In April, Hermit Crab passed a flock of starfish moving along on the seafloor. Oh, how handsome you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to decorate my house? I would, signaled one of the starfish. Carefully, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and put it on his house. Then in May, Hermit Crab discovered some sea coral. They had hard, they were hard, and they didn't move. Ooh, how pretty you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to help me with my house and make it more beautiful? I would, creaked a crusty coral. Gingerly, or, what's the word? Carefully. Carefully, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and placed it on his shell. In June, Hermit Crab came to a group of snails crawling over the bottom of the ocean floor. They grazed as he as they went, picking up algae and bits of debris along the way and leaving a nice neat little trail behind them. How tidy and hard working you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to come and help me clean my house? I would, said one of the snails. Happily, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and placed it on his shell. Can you make that sound? Oh, good. How about you? <laughs> In July, Hermit Crab came upon several sea urchins. They had sharp prickly needles. Ooh, how fierce they look, said Hermit Crab. Um, would one of you be willing to help protect my house? I would, answered a spiky sea urchin. Gratefully, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and placed it near his shell. <laughs> In August, Hermit Crab and his friends wandered into a forest of seaweed. It's so dark in here, thought Hermit Crab. It's dim to us, murmured the sea anemone. 
How gloomy it is, whispered the starfish. How murky it is, complained the coral. I can't see a thing, said the snail. It's like nighttime, said the sea urchin. I'm pretty sure I changed my voices from how they were before. Now it sounds like a pirate. <laughs> In September, her, September, hermit crab spotted a school of lanternfish darting through the cold, dark, cold, dark water. Who how bright you are, said hermit crab. Would one of you be willing to light up my house? I would, said one of the lanternfish, and it swam over near the shell. In October, Hermit Crab announced, approached a small pile of smooth pebbles. Ooh, how sturdy you are, said Hermit Crab. Would you mind if we rearranged you? Not at all, answered the pebbles. Hermit Crab picked up one at a time with his claws and built a wall around himself. <gasps> now my house is perfect, cheered Hermit Crab. Do you remember what's going to happen? Don't tell! Do you remember? <laughs> yes. <laughs> In November, her November, Hermit Crab felt that his shell felt a little too tight and snug. Little by little over the year, Hermit Crab had grown. Soon he would have to find another bigger home, but he had to come up, but he had come to love his friends the sea anemone, the starfish, the coral, the sea urchin, the snail, the lanternfish, and even the small pebbles. They've been so good to me, thought Hermit Crab. They're like a family. How can I ever leave them? In December, December a small hermit crab passed by. I am out she said. Would you know of a place for me? I've outgrown my shell too, answered Hermit Crab. I must move on. You are welcome to live here, but you must promise to be good to my friends. I promise, said the little crab. The following January, Hermit Crab stepped out and little crab moved in. Couldn't stay in that little shell forever, said Hermit Crab as he waved goodbye. The ocean floor looked wider than he had remembered, but Hermit, Hermit, Hermit Crab was, <laughs> wasn't afraid. Soon, he spied a perfect house, a big empty shell. It looked, well, plain, but... Barnacles, clownfish, sand dollars, electric eels. Oh, there were so many possibilities. I won't, I can't wait to get started. The end. Very nice. Thank you for your help today. Thank you for your, oh, we forgot to clap. Bye.